in 2004, I was contacted by a literary agent out of London, um, Andrew Nuremberg was the agency, and the, the lady's name was Barbara Taylor, she said, you know, I like your writing style, and, you know, your story, this has potential to be made in the book. And like I said earlier, that wasn't something that I thought about because I was writing really just to expose what was going on in the jail. I have no inclination towards um, being an author prior to this lady suggesting this. The last book I'd read was To Kill a Mockingbird in high school. I, I, all I ever read my entire life was stock market and finance books. So the, the literary world was like a, a foreign world to me with all these, all this um, its own language and all this kind of stuff. So it was very um, confusing for me to even understand what a literary agent was. That's how simple my mind was when it came to um, that profession. So I started to study up on it a bit more and the agent, she said, because you're in America and I'm in London, what we'd like to do is we'll run your blog entries as half of the book and that will make it easier for you. And the other half of the book will take your sister, who is a experienced journalist living in London, and it'll be a, a dual narrative and she'll write the other half of the book and get credit writing about the, you know, my story and the effect on the family. So I thought, all right, that's, you know, that sounds like a good idea to me. So it's going to be what my sister wrote a little bit, and then the blog entries, and then what my sister wrote, and then the blog <coughs> entries. Now my sister and Barbara, the literary agent, worked tirelessly on this, you know, for the remainder of my sentence. And they were meeting all the time, you know, doing loads of overtime on it and all this stuff. And when I got out, I was in London, I got deported to London, and I meet the literary agent, um, Barbara Taylor, and she says, you know, I'm gonna, the book's ready, I'm going to take you to London Book Fair, and you'll be a published author by this summer, and you know, you've got nothing to worry about, and you'll have a profession, because you know, I'm a criminal record, how was I going to get a job? So... We're drinking wine and we're celebrating and I'm thinking, yeah, you know, this is, this is really good. I've done all this writing now and my sister's done all this work and you know, we're going to get a result. A couple of weeks before the London Book Fair, the literary agent Barbara disappears off the face of the earth. The London Book Fair comes and goes and we're like, I have no idea what's happened. She was 41 years old. We later found out she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. The doctors basically told her, go home and spend the last months alive with your parents and make the most of it. There's absolutely nothing we can do for you.